Hey there, Earthlings. Thanks for tuning in to the Barardo Podcast. I'm your host, Tony Barardo, where we talk about health, happiness, and anything else that's important to us humans. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the podcast by visiting thebarardo.com or just click the little subscribe button wherever you listen to the podcast. And be sure to check out my Instagram at thebarardo for all the latest videos and content. Thanks so much and enjoy the episode. It's just, just funny. It's, it's just funny. You know, the way you tell the story and everything. Funny how. Okay, ladies and gents, what's going on? Hey, before we get in uh, to today's episode, uh, I just briefly kind of talk about you know how I'm staying positive. Hopefully, uh, you guys are staying mentally and physically sharp. So that's what we're going to talk about today. It's going to be a quick podcast, but I think you're going to enjoy it. Before we get into today's episode, I do want to thank Public Goods, guys. Public Goods, uh, thank you so much. Uh, for those of you that support public goods, they are the, literally the one-stop shop for affordable, sustainable, and healthy household products. You can get everything from home living care, personal care, and even daily premium pantry staples. You can get it all in one place at publicgoods.com. Guys, they have searched the globe to find clean, healthy, and eco-friendly uh, innovative pro- projects, some of which, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I use all the time, like their canned tomatoes that I use uh, for my homemade sauce. They even have uh, granola. They have sulfurite free shampoo. They have all types of great products. Guys, you can check out publicgoods.com to see everything they have. All their products are very comparable in terms of price. I would even say uh, a lot cheaper than most because they use a membership model that keeps your costs really low. And they're going to pass off all the savings, similar to like an Amazon. They're going to pass off all the savings to the customers. Best of all, you can make your first purchase with no obligation by visiting publicgoods.com and use the code TONYPGA. You're going to get a discount just to try out public good. So definitely check that out. Lastly, I do want to thank uh, our friends over at Golden Ratio. So guys, uh, you hear me talk about these cats all the time. So Golden Ratio, uh, they're one of our new sponsors. And I'm not sure about you, but uh, I mean, I love coffee. So if you don't love coffee, you can fast forward through this little ad real quick. But uh, me personally, I'm a coffee nut. There's a couple problems with coffee though, right? Stains your teeth, you get that coffee breath, and you can't have a lot of it without getting bubbly guts. And let's be honest, you drink a cup of coffee, You got to run to the bathroom in a few minutes, right? Well, the cool thing with Golden Ratio is they slow roast all their coffee beans. So it drinks a lot more like a tea than a coffee. Let me explain how this works. So what they actually do is they'll literally take all their coffee beans. They'll slow roast them and put them in individual tea bags. So that way you're controlling your quote unquote cup of coffee every single day by taking a tea bag like you normally do, you know, when you drink tea, hot water, let it steep for 10 to 15 minutes. You could do it hot or cold. And then boom, next thing you know, you get a nice, flavorful cup of coffee that's actually five times less acidic than your normal coffee brand. That's right. You can visit drinkgoldenratio.com. If you want 20% off your order, use the code THEBERARDO. I definitely recommend trying out their variety pack where they have like vanilla coconut, spiced chai, and some other cool seasonal flavors. Again, drinkgoldenratio.com. Use the code THEBERARDO to get 20%. Uh, Without further ado, let's get into today's episode. Super excited to be talking to you guys again. Let's do it. Ladies and gents, what the hell is going on? Hey, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of the Bardo Podcast. I, of course, am your host, Tony Bardo. Uh, I am super excited to be talking with you guys today. Um, It's a very special day. It's a very special week uh, for me and uh, the missus for a lot of reasons. Not a whole lot I'll, I'll go into, but... Uh, we're pretty excited. Things are going well. And, you know, it's it's uh, the wife's birthday today. So I'm going to do a little something a little special. So by the time this goes uh, live into the podcast verse, uh, it would already have been her her birthday. So I uh, I encourage you to follow me at the Barardo so you could see everything that uh, that we did. And it was a good time. Uh, that's on Instagram, by the way, at the Barardo. But this podcast, I kind of wanted to dive a little bit into something I've been thinking about lately, especially as things are starting to open up. And, you know, I've had family members that have been going through some some challenging times and uh, friends as well. So I kind of wanted to touch base a little bit on this subject. You know, it's hard. It's super hard to not get depressed and to not fall into 
like this weird, you know, uh, black hole of, of negative emotion with everything that's going on. Because there's so much shit out there, man. There's so much stuff that's that's going on right now, primarily mostly negative. And I think a lot of that has to do with, you know, just look at the human species. Look at what we like, right? Like even back in the Roman times, we enjoyed watching other humans fight to the death. You know, we're a very dirty and mean and aggressive and territorial species. So I think it's in our DNA to just be negative. And for millions of years, we've tried to, you know, evolve into these these smarter, smarter species, you know, each of us individually. And some of us have gotten there, you know. I mean, you can't have a Jeff Bezos and an Elon Musk without those diamonds in the rough. So I think a lot of us are are at a point to where we look at the glass half full as opposed to half empty. There's a lot of us that look at things more positive than others. And, you know, there's some of us that need to work at it every day. And I think it's little things that I'm going to kind of touch base on that I personally been thinking of. So I'm hoping you guys will get value out of this uh, in your own way or maybe have a friend or family that you could share this with that, uh, that maybe it'll help them. But things are starting to get back to normal you're probably finding yourself being stuck in the same routine as you were during the pandemic. Let me tell you why that's a bad idea. Because more often than not, a lot of us have have been in this routine of waking up every day at maybe a time that you normally don't wake up at if you work from home. I've been guilty of it a couple times. You know, but maybe you wake up at, at 7 o'clock and you used to wake up at 6. You know, uh, you go to bed a little bit later. You know, you have a, a little couple glasses of wine extra than you normally do. You watch a little bit more TV than you normally do. You stay on your phone a little bit more than you normally do. And I think during the pandemic, it was okay to do because no one was doing anything else, right? We're all stuck in this kind of vegetative state of just doing shit at home. And, and you know, now that things are coming open again, we kind of can't accept it. Like, things are pretty good at home. We know that. We know it's a lot of fun when you're stuck at home and you're on the couch in your PJs and you don't have to do your makeup or you don't have to do your hair. Like, we know it's a good time. But it is so bad for us, not just physically, because it is very bad for us physically to just be sitting on our ass doing nothing. But mentally, there's a lot that you got to consider. You know, number one is we're not bred to do this stuff. You know, I just mentioned how, you know, evolution has taught us one thing, and that is we continue to get smarter and more advanced, but the one thing that I think is always going to reign true with us is what's in our DNA, and what's in our DNA is we're animals. Like, we like to hunt, we like to fight, we like to scratch and claw, we're territorial, we need to be outside, we need to, you know, soak up vitamin D and, you know, spend time with the earth and touch the ground, maybe hunt, (laughs) you know? But, you know, there's, there's a couple things that you can't fight against, and that is what is true to us, and that is, you know, we're humans, but we're part of this earth. And you have to get outside, man. We're not used to, or excuse me, we're not supposed to be in these four walls. We're not supposed to be stuck at home watching TV and, and looking at these screens all day. Like, that's not what we're meant to do. Now, down the road, you know, it, it seems like it's kind of going that way, right? Like, it seems like, we're going to evolve into these technological, like weird alien type creatures where, you know, we're just going to communicate with our phones and our brains and we're not going to use face to face interaction or physical contact. Like maybe in like 500 years that if we keep going on this path, that might be our future. You know, we might be, and I highly believe this. I've talked about this before where I think like if there was aliens, quote unquote aliens, and you see like the black eyes and the big heads, I think that's us like 5,000 years from now. And at that point, we figured out how to travel, you know, through space and time. And we traveled back to where, you know, this species, us humans, started to kind of get into this tech world. And maybe they're trying to warn us saying, yo, dude, (laughs) eventually we just evolved into just not having privates and we're shorter And we have no muscle mass because we ended up not working out and we ended up not going outside. You know, if you kind of look at it, that's where like I see evolution going and it's terrifying. It's terrifying that we're relying on 
you know, these phones and all this tech stuff. And there's a lot of cool stuff. Don't get me wrong. I mean, you know, I'm big into social media and I love watching TikToks and, you know, I get it. There was a time and place. You have to run parallel to that physical activity. And that's a big part of being a human is, you know, your, your body needs to evolve as well, not just mentally, but physically, you know, and, and that doesn't mean working out. I talk a lot about that, but that's just cause that's what I'm passionate about. So I like to talk about things that I know about. Um, but you know, maybe it's, you know, going for a bike ride, you know, if you're on the West coast, what's up guys, maybe go for hikes, you know, like whatever you're into, I think we just have to touch the ground. You have to be outside. You have to, you know, do something with the earth, get that vitamin D somewhere. And that's a big part, I think, of not just being a human, but keeping you sane, right? Like, you know, there's a reason why people that have cubicle jobs are are alcoholics and and drug at, drug addicts and and are depressed all the time. And, you know, if you have anybody that that works a job in a cubicle, they'll tell you, I mean, their job sucks, right? They're not excited about it. And it doesn't mean the job sucks. The job might suck also, but it's probably because you're in a cubicle, no? Like you're stuck in a cubicle and you're indoors and you got a headset on and you're only talking to 100 people a day, but there's no face-to-face interaction. It's only on the phone. Every single person's negative. Like there's probably a lot to be said about where you work is, uh, is an important part to your health. So I think if you take those same cubicle jobs and you put them, you know, get rid of the cubicles and have a big glass window and everyone's facing like outside, maybe there's a a nice view of like a garden or, you know, animals running around or whatever. Like there's a way that you can, (laughs) you can picture a cubicle job being really, really cool. Right. But when you're physically stuck in those four walls, it's, that's just not what we're meant to do. We have to get out. We have to like. You know, we have to stretch, we have to move around, we have to, we got to be active, man. And I say all this because during this time of the pandemic, I think we're all, including myself, I think we're all stuck in this habit of being at home and not doing a lot. And that's why I try to be as active as I can every single day, because I don't want to fall into a rut of being depressed. Not just, you know, including, uh, you know, physically what you do, but mentally, right? Like, we got to be careful of looking at these phones and, you know, maybe watching the news, right? The pandemic is still going on. You get this Delta variant that's that's happening right now. And, you know, now we're back to, like, the politics, right? Like, what do we listen to, CNN or Fox? You know, do we listen to influencers on our phone or do we listen to, you know, the news anchors? Uh, Do I trust the president? Do I not trust the president? Who do I need to listen to? A lot of that is just noise, man. One thing I've I've done since the election, probably even before the election, is I don't consume any news. I don't watch anything on YouTube. I don't uh, if a friend posts something, you know, about uh, the president or the former president or anything about COVID. I don't watch it. Not because I don't want to know about the information. I have my vaccine. Uh, I'm not worried about that. But I got the vaccine not because of the news. I got it because I chose to get it. That's it. Bottom line. Uh, what I decide to do has nothing to do with you and what you do has nothing to do with me. <laughs> Just like whoever says something on CNN or Fox has nothing to do with me. They're talking to a, a massive audience that uh, they do not care about my feelings at all. Those anchors, these influencers, no one really cares. There might be a few people out there that actually care, but not a lot of people that are giving that information care about what you do, nor should they. Um, they're spreading information that they think is true, and it might be true, might be true, but it also might not be true. So I think it's important during this time that we listen to our bodies, and we listen to our loved ones, and we do what's right uh, for them. We don't need to consume external content, is what I like to call it. Uh, there's there's good content that you can consume, and that's like you know a podcast, wink wink, or maybe it's like music. That's good content, right? Because it kind of gets you in a different in a different world. Reading a book, you know, a fiction book. External content, that's good. But there's a lot of external content out there that is just noise. That's negative noise. You know, you ever hear about white noise? That you're supposed to listen to like white noise to help you go to sleep because it blocks out everything else. You have to think <laughs> that 
you got to figure out what you can use, that white noise, to block out everything else. Because everything else, like the traffic that you hear when you're sleeping, um, that's the news, right, for example. So you got to listen to white noise to block that stuff out. My white noise is consuming myself with hobbies, consuming myself with this podcast, consuming myself with hanging out with the wife one-on-one, not just like hanging out watching TV, but doing things together, enjoying our lives together, spending time with family, FaceTiming family that doesn't live here anymore. That's my white noise, you know, because there's so many great positives that you can consume yourself with. But I think if you get too caught up and everything that's going on that's negative, you're going to be negative. You know, have you ever had like that one friend that, you know, let's say you're hanging out at a bar or something with four or five of your friends. Everything's going good. You're talking, you're shooting shit, you're having a couple drinks. And then all of a sudden you get like a buddy that's like, oh, God, you won't believe what happened to me today. What's up, Gary? What's going on, man? What happened? Oh, dude, my fucking boss. My boss did this. My boss did that. And I just fucking, I did not want to be there all day at work today. Ugh, work was so annoying because of fucking my boss. It's like, Gary, you all right, dude? I mean, you're not working anymore. Are you okay? Yeah, dude, I just fucking, my boss was annoying me. Uh, okay. It's 530, bro. Like, you stopped working at 5. What are you pissed off about? Your day's over. You're not working anymore. Next. Like, we can't be focusing so much on the past that we forget about living in the moment, living in the present. Just the fact that you have a job is a huge positive. <laughs> there's, there's people out there that uh, are only collecting unemployment for a few more weeks. Some people don't have that luxury of having a job and a guaranteed paycheck. So the fact that you bitch and complain about a paycheck is hilarious. And you don't like where you work? Okay, find a new job. The problem is now you have that negativity and you are hanging out with five of your friends that you never see all the time and you want to use that time to hang out with them to talk negative shit. Talk about stuff that doesn't matter. You know, your boss doesn't matter, man. Just do your job. Do it well. Don't piss anybody off. Treat people, you know, with kindness. Get your paycheck and get the fuck out of there. You know, work on a different job if you need to. But to spread that negativity, just very similar to, you know, when someone spreads, you shouldn't get the COVID shot because you'll grow a third arm. That's probably not the best thing to be spreading, right? Because then there's going to be a few thousand people that believe it. And the next thing you know, like wildfire, it spreads. So I think you just need to reevaluate what you're doing, not just with your time, but, you know, how you're spending that time and then what you're doing when you're around other people. Because one thing I try to do when I'm around other people is I don't like to bother people with my problems. Uh, my problems are my problems. And, you know, yeah, I ask for help sometimes, but, you know, I never like to vent. Uh, venting is a good idea maybe if you have a spouse or a partner and you need the support. But uh, overall, venting to people, to me, is a waste of time because they have their own problems. I mean, imagine if you have five of your close friends and every single person, every single day, vent to you their problems. So now you're hearing five different people with five different problems and they're venting all that shit to you and you got your own shit going on. Is that how you want to spend your time? Come on, guys. There really shouldn't be a lot that we're upset about. You know, the one thing I've noticed, uh, especially as the wife and I are, you know, really spending a lot of time together and, and we're, um, you know, we're trying to do uh, the right things when it comes uh, to the finances and, you know, saving money and, and all that stuff. And the one thing I notice is uh, what's very important in life is if you start looking at this thing a little bit more optimistically and you start looking at life as you're born, right? I'm 36. So I was born 36 years ago. So anything that I do, even if it's stupid, you know, even if it's irresponsible, within that 36 years, it's all positive. It's all in the black. Financial terms, black and red. It's all in the black. It's all positive. Because I could not exist. There might be a world out there where Tony Barardo doesn't exist. There might be a world out there where John Smith, you don't exist. There might be a world out there that you weren't even able to live this life. And you're bitching about traffic. You're bitching about your boss. You know, we have to have a little bit more perspective that we're very lucky where we're at. And I think if we can each figure out, figure out maybe what we love to do, do that. 
and then only surround ourselves with positive people that support that idea, I think you're on the right track. That's all you got to do. And if people don't support that idea, then don't hang out with them. That's it. And you might be wrong. It might be a horrible idea, but it was your idea and you chose to do it. You don't want to live with regret. You know, there's a, a great quote. It's not really a quote. It's more of a statement. But Anthony Hopkins, one of my favorite actors, he got interviewed. Uh, this is a few years back. But he got interviewed and they go, uh, they go, Anthony, do you have any regrets? And he goes, mm, no. Didn't even think about it. He goes, no. And I forget who interviewed him. Maybe Tom Brokaw or something. And he goes, oh, wait, you said that so quick. You don't have any regrets? Like, how could you say that? Everyone has regrets. He goes, I don't. He goes, whatever I did in the past, I made that decision thinking that was the best decision for me. There was no fork in the road. I made a decision and that was it. There's nothing I could do about it. I can't reverse time and go back and change it. So I don't have any regrets. Just like tomorrow, I'm going to make decisions I don't even know about. They might be right. They might be wrong, but I won't regret it because it's a decision that I made at the time that I think is right. And I was like, Okay, that makes a lot of sense because you should just live this life to the fullest and you should do the things you love to do and you should be around the people you love to be around. So if you're hanging out with people that you don't like, you're wasting your time. Hanging around with the people that support you, that are positive, that are good for your well-being so that way we all can enjoy this life. Quit surrounding yourself with negativity. All right, guys, well, listen. I hope you got some value out of this. I hope you can give this to a friend or a family member uh, that might use it. That could use a little boost. But uh, I hope everyone out there is staying happy, staying healthy. We'll talk soon.